Four is the time now. We have closing arguments beginning today for the former Inkster police officer charged in the beating of Floyd Dent. Now, this is a story that has attracted national attention after dash cam video of that beating went viral. Seven Action News reporter Jennifer Bistram joins us live with what we've seen so far during this trial. Jen? Good morning, guys. You know, we've seen lots of testimony within the last two weeks. And yesterday, jurors even got a chance to get out of the courtroom for a field trip. As you guys mentioned today, closing arguments does begin in the case against William Melendez, who is a former Inkster officer. That means that this case will then go to a jury. Now, yesterday, the 16 jurors, nine blacks and seven whites, got into two vans and were taken to Inkster to the area where the alleged police brutality incident took place. They looked at the budget motel from across the street where 47-year-old Bill Melendez says he saw Floyd Dent go into a room for about two or three minutes and then followed him out. It is an area known for drugs and other crime. Now, Dent testified he was not at the motel but went to a nearby complex to take a friend some liquor. The police dash cam video shows Dent's car on a nearby side street. Dent runs two stop signs and swerves, saying he was trying to avoid potholes. Melendez claims Dent bit him on the arm and that's why he hit him. 16 times in just 10 seconds. The incident happened back in January during a traffic stop. Melendez has been charged with assault and misconduct and was fired by the Inkster Police Department. Now, as for Dent, he was originally charged with cocaine possession and resisting an officer. Those charges were dismissed. We should also point out Dent recently reached a $1.4 million civil settlement with the city of Inkster. Now, again, closing arguments begins at 9.30 this morning. This case going to a jury afterwards, and we should point out that Melendez did not take the stand in his own trial. If convicted, he faces up to 10 years in prison. We're live this morning in downtown Detroit. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.